on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look and reviewing this absolutely massive old school computer brick building set from Pantasy. Now I've covered some Pantasy products on the channel previously. Most recently I did their Metal Slug 3 arcade cabinet. I thought it was amazing. I'm an old school retro person of the 90s, so this is right up my alley. My very first computer was one of these big honking machines, a compact Presario, if I recall correctly. For nostalgic fans, you get an old school computer. This thing has all sorts of play features. As you can see, we got things jumping out of the screen, little side hatches, components, compartments, all sorts of things. This has over 3,000 pieces inside, and the retail price is around $140, which is very economical. Inside the main carton, you will find two smaller cartons, each individually numbered one through four, five through 10. This is so you can kind of divide and conquer and build it accordingly. All the pieces are individually labeled and numbered. That way you can follow along inside the instruction booklet and all the instructions have detailed pictures as far as color coordination and number of notches on each piece. It's very well organized. Highly recommend checking one of these sets out. All right, here we have our fully assembled 90s retro gaming computer, uh, officially licensed and theme for Chinese Paladin, AKA Legend of Sword and Fairy. Uh, this was a Windows 95 game, came out in 1995. Uh, so that is what this is all about as far as the, the theme and the characters that are literally jumping out of the CRT monitor. As you can see, the, the monitor itself is on a swivel, which is great. It spins all the way around 360 degrees. Uh, you've got the characters from the game literally jumping out of the screen. You've got various different scenes and play features that are going on. Uh, we've got a, a, a full gaming keyboard, so full QWERTY keyboard, as well as, you know, numpad, dedicated keys for the game itself. Very impressive, very sleek. Even has, you know, the connecting cables, which I think is an awesome uh, detail. These literally will go onto the back of the computer and connect, and this is my favorite bit. Literally, there's VGA, brick building VGA cable so you can connect the monitor and everything. I think that is awesome, but it's also, of course, a mouse, nice mouse. Again, has its own connecting cable that will literally plug into the back of the computer. You got a fan and everything. I mean, this thing looks the part. It's absolutely phenomenal as far as just its aesthetics and like I said, it's got all sorts of different play features and functionalities and hidden compartments. And so we got like our power button here, you know, a restart button, faux LED lights here on the front. We have a disc drive that actually functions. So you can push this button, kick out the disc area itself. We have a copy of the video game itself here. So you got this, you know, fake jewel case, you open it up. There's the disc for the game itself. So pop open that disc drive put in the disc and you'll be good to go. And you can't have an old school computer without some three and a half inch floppy disks. These are awesome. Uh, they all have individual unique QR codes on them. So if you'll scan this with your smartphone, uh, it'll bring you different features and functionalities um, for this specific game, which is a nice treat. Uh, so that's kind of a, a hidden detail in this. And these actually can go in the front compartment as well. And you can push the eject button and kick these in and out, which is awesome. Another hidden compartment we have here, open up the front door. Got a nice little scene from the video game. Along the side, we also have this little hidden compartment here. Slides out there. And then voila, we've got two more warriors there on display. So on the top of the monitor, we've got a little bit of a, a living area, kitchen scene, uh, which is a nice little bed desk drawing area and if you're like eh, I don't I don't really care for any of this stuff I just want it to look like an old-school computer if you're not I'm just gonna open this back hatch swivels down and voila hidden out of sight and now you've got your just normal aesthetic look to your old-school CRT computer monitor which is super cool like I said just a nice little feature you open up this little hinge there's your scene if you want it close it tuck it away and if you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh, that's, uh, this is too much. I, I just want it to look like a, you know, a gaming monitor, an old school Windows 95 setup. Don't worry, you can. You're gonna take this front piece off. Inside, you get more details of another scene. You've got a nice little backdrop. You got the woods, the rabbit, a little bird. There's even a frog hidden back there. But you can actually take off the top bezel and slide in this retro looking Windows 95 home screen, or you can flip it over on the other side and here's your game start screen for the Chinese Platin game. 
course, there's also a Chinese Platin-themed mouse pad to go with your mouse. You can have it like this, or you can flip it over, just have solid black. That way you can have your classic looking Windows 95 computers. Once you have the set fully assembled, the dimensions are at the top of the monitor, about 10 inches tall. It is almost nine inches deep and it is eight inches wide. So make sure you've got some desk space or shelf space to set aside accordingly. And you know, if you want the, the full look, the, the keyboard and the mouse and everything, you're also gonna have to add, you know, about three and a half more inches as far as depth. So it's a pretty big piece, uh, significant size, scale and everything. I think this set is awesome. Over 3000 pieces, very good economic value for the amount of money uh, that this retails for. I was very impressed with the quality. Everything goes together. I built several of these fantasy brick sets now and I've had no issues with missing pieces or you know anything confusing as far as the build. The instructions do have Chinese text in there so there's no English translation. Uh, but it shows you exactly what pieces you need, what colors, where they go and everything. So there was really honestly no language barrier for me. Um, cool thing about this set, like I said, if you don't care about the video game Chinese platen or anything like that, you can completely transition this to look 100% like a dedicated Windows 95, uh, just old school gaming setup. And I, I think that's probably the look that I'm going to go with. Um, I like I said, I love the details on this thing with everything as far as like the connections of the mouse and the keyboard. And I, I just think it's a great looking old school uh, retro setup. I love that, you know, the monitor swivels on the tower and everything as it should, you know, we get the little added details like the floppy disk and the disk drive. I mean, it's, it's a gorgeous looking set. So if you enjoyed this video review, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.